Hey guys, what's up? It's me, San Francisco. So I'm back again with another base product review, and this time I'll be talking about the brand Esbar. So I'm not really sure what's the right or proper pronunciation of this brand, Esbar Ba or Espa, but I've heard a lot of people say Esbar. So I think you na lang yung gagamitin ko para sa So let me know kung ano yung tama. Anyway, so ang pag-uusapan natin is yung B Glow Foundation nila. Meron din cushion version itong product na to. Ngayon, kung tatanungin niyo ako, bakit foundation muna yung inuna ko? Kasi guys, gusto ko muna magpahinga. I wanted something different and for a change naman, di ba? Huwag muna tayo or pahinga muna tayo sa cushion review soon, di ba? Matatry din natin yung kanilang cushion version. If I'm not mistaken, the name is Pro Taylor B Glow Cushion. So anyway, hindi ko na ito bata tagalin. So if you're interested in this video, just keep on watching. So let's start. I got three products from S4 three weeks ago. Okay, so first product is their foundation. Next one is itong Couture Lip Tint Shine in the shade Chillin' Chillin'. Lastly, their Couture Fluid Velvet Lipstick. Okay, so this one is in the shade Moonlit. And so far, so good. I was not disappointed. I love the coverage, the pigmentation, the quality of this products. Let me know if you want a detailed review on their latest like uh, Lip Tint Shine. So this one, super good. I super love. Okay, let me know. I actually like and appreciate the applicator of this one because you'll see that there is an extension dito sa kaniyang uh, pump. Like, meron siyang tip. Hindi siya yung kagaya ng ganitong classing pump. This one is from L'Oreal. Like, makikita nyo, wala siyang extension. Like, agad na lang siyang butas doon. Okay? I just feel like with this kind of applicator, mas less yung makikreate na mess. And hindi masasayang yung product compared this one from L'Oreal. Like, ganito yung applicator niya. Yung agad is butas lang doon. And then pag pinok nyo, medyo messy na siya. Like, see? Maraming nasasayang na product. For the consistency of this product, it's very runny and very, very liquidy. Not thick at all, but it is lightweight. With this formula, you can definitely say that this is a dewy and a glowy foundation. Look at that. Super hydrated, right? I'm really excited to wear this one, but before we proceed to that portion of the video, let's first talk about the shade. We have 10 shades for this collection. Now, I got the deepest or darkest shade, which is the shade Deep. Honestly, I'm happy that I got the right shade because somehow, it's expensive than this product. Na to. So, at least, I'm not disappointed in this area. But hopefully, they can add more deeper shades. And I feel like the shade name na Deep medyo hindi siya accurate. Okay, so hindi lang ako masyadong fan nun. Now, this product has 30 ml and the skincare benefit of this one is meron siyang SPF 25 PA++++. The scent, okay, so it's nice. It's very light. Okay, so for sensitive skin, I feel like you guys are going to love this. Very fresh. I like it. Very citrusy. Um, para siyang lemon. So I can describe this. To be specific, I can tell this is very similar to like a baby shampoo. Must tell a baby shampoo. Okay. It smells just like that. Okay, but I like it. <laughs> now for the application of this foundation, this area right here, I'm going to be using a sponge. And this one, I'm going to use a cushion pop applicator. not apply any highlighter but guys look at that glow right that's so pretty i super love it <laughs> oh my god now my only problem here with this product is this area right here so brang parang nagiging cakey na siya it's not looking natural at all i'm not liking the effect and finish over here now let's try it pag nag add na ako ng um, powder When you add powder, na pansin ko is medyo maliless na yung shine. I actually like the finish ng meron na siyang powder. But here, dito sa area ng nose ko, 
sobrang cakey na siya, and I'm not a fan of that. Like, super not a fan of it. Like, it's cakey, and it doesn't look natural at all. Uh, hmm. Kind of disappointed with that one. So, I'll be giving you my final thoughts later, but let's proceed first to sa area. Na. I still have extra over here. Yun na lang yung ganitin natin with the cushion pop applicator. Also, guys, I feel like sa isang pump, ma cover ko na lahat ng face ko. Kasi madami pa siya. Pero let's see, okay? You can see, medyo konti lang yung na-apply dito sa aking face dun sa natira. Pero kung gagamit tayo ng sponge, feeling ko matatakpan pa natin yung right face natin. Pero ito, medyo na-absorb niya lahat ng product dito. Okay, so be mindful about that. Now for the application of this cushion applicator, I like it. I like it super because it's less cakey over here, no visible pores, I'm telling you. I don't know if you can tell, but no visible pores compared to this side of my nose. It's really not good and super cakey. I'm not a fan of that. Now that my base product is already set and my makeup is already done, I can now finally give you my final thoughts. Okay, so for my final thoughts, um, I have mixed feelings with this one. 40% gusto ko siya, 60% hindi ako masyadong fan. Okay, so first, I feel like this is more targeted on those people with um, skin conditions na very flawless na. Okay, so if you don't have anything to cover, like red marks, acne marks, or bumps, irritated na skin. Feeling ko super perfect nito sa inyo. It'll look super gorgeous on you. But if you're someone like me na meron acne or irritated yung skin, uh, bumps, ganyan, hindi ko ito may recommend sa inyo. Mapapansin nyo naman na sobrang nabilib ako. I was really impressed with the performance, the quality of this one. Like the coverage, I really do like it and appreciate naman. Pero nung tumatagal, kasi medyo ilang oras ko na siyang suot ngayon while doing this review, napansin ko eh, medyo nagiging visible ulit yung acne scar ko dito. And the red bumps, medyo nagiging or lumilitaw na sila. Now, ito pa guys. Itong area na to, wait. Ito, ito, itong pimple na to. This is an active pimple and sobrang visible niya. Ayan, kung makikita ninyo, hindi ko siya nagustuhan kasi talagang dito sa area na to, hindi talaga niya natakpan. Talagang really visible talaga siya. So, dun sa area na yun, naging disappointed ako. Yun yung sinasabi ko, kaya 50-60 ako dito sa product na. I just say 50-60. I'm really sorry. 40-60. Okay. So, sobra seryoso kasi ako nagbibigay na review ako. Since this is a glowy foundation, so the consistency of this one is very liquidy, expect that it's going to transfer on your mask. So, since ito na yung new normal natin, nagsusuit ng mask, um, gusto ko lang i-share sa inyo or maging aware kayo sa factor na yun ng foundation na to. Okay. So, basically, hindi ito mask proof. Um, kung ilalagay nyo naman siya ng powder or isaset nyo siya ng powder, mas less yung makikreate niyang pag-transfer. Okay, so be mindful na lang dun sa factory niya. This is really expensive. I feel like I can find same effect pero different uh, brand lang. Okay, so I can compare this product dito sa BLK Skin Tint Sun Shield nila kasi ito very dewy, very glowy, very hydrated ang kanyang finish. Pero the coverage of this one kasi is light to medium lang. Okay, so compare dito. Dito kasi may pagka medium yung kanyang coverage. Okay, so one pump is enough. Ito kasi you need to apply a lot in order for you to really cover like some imperfections on your face. So, yun lang yung difference nila. Pero same effect sila nitong product. For me, why not buy na lang the product na very affordable naman instead of like buying a product na, alam nyo yun, very expensive. Okay, so kung may narinig ko yung nag-iinga, I think merong lasing sa labas ng bahay. Oh my gosh! So, kung meron kayo narinig na bote or Naririnig niya ba? 
So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy this makeup video. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to your friends. See you again next time. Bye!